Welcome to RG45 101. RG45 is a mild steel gas walling rod. It's primarily used for oxygen acetylene gas walling. But for you and I, it has some additional benefits. RG45 comes with a copper sheath, which means that we get the color of copper and at the same time the strength of steel. I first learned about RG45 back in 1971 and since that time I have used literally tons of this material. And let's just call this a practice piece. Now this piece is made with 332nd RG45. Now the next step is to brace this together. There. Now we're going to do a sunburst. What I have here is some RG45 by 1 8. These are 12 inch pieces, four of them, and the circle is three inches in diameter. The first thing I do is I lay this out into a cross. And for this type of piece, I like to step back and get a good siding here to make sure that these are straight and the same with these. Once those are straight, then I'll brace it together. And I'll get these all lined up. The heat will sometimes distort these. It will pull them out of position somewhat. So you can just heat the end up here right where it's braised to the ring and pull it back into position. Then go over the whole piece and make sure everything is straight. I'm going to want to hang on to this with a pair of needle nose because this is copper and that copper is going to conduct heat. This is one of my favorite pieces. Now we'll be doing this sculpture. This is an interesting piece because number one, there's just lots of options here. And also, this is a two-piece sculpture, or it can be. It can be a single piece like this, or it can be a two-piece sculpture. So we'll get started on making a duplicate to this piece. This is one of the circles that was left over from doing the large sunburst. And as you can see, I've cut it in half. Then, I cut a piece here that will fit right in here, which I will braise together. The materials for this piece are rather basic. The RG45, and then a piece of copper for the circle, or in this case, the half circle. Now I'm going to add the 16th inch rods. Remember, there are 32 of these. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just putting these right on top, melting them down in. This isn't an impossible task, but it's not quite as easy as it appears. This is a half circle, and in this particular case, just like with the large sunburst, I floated bronze on here, making it rough. But in this case, I didn't put as much bronze on, and I let some of the copper show through. 
Now I'm going to just melt these ends. But with all these 16th inch rods in here, it's a little tough to do it right on, on the flat table. So I like to just take a little block of steel like this, lay it right here. I burn off the ends of the rods for two reasons. One, it balls up the ends and adds more interest rather than the rod just shooting out there straight. Also, by melting the ends, I burn off some of that copper sheath, giving the edges of the sculpture more definition.